Stop. Pay attention. In the next five minutes, I'm going to tell you a really powerful secret that no one ever tells you about how to make women actually chase you. I can't think of a single thing that I like less than being excited about watching a YouTube video. I click on that video, then BOOM! I'm hit with a pre-roll from a how to get laid guru YouTuber, right? That's trying to prey on my insecurities and get me to click his bullish sales funnel so that I'll part with my hard earned money in hopes that he can teach me how to start smashing chicks. So this video came about because I got an email from this guy named Adrian. He said, hey man, found a video ad I thought you might be interested in checking out. This guy self-proclaims he can help you get a date with his five simple step process or something like that. He also claims to be an Amazon bestseller, of course. Isn't every guru an Amazon bestseller? We need to check into the requisites of what that means. Thought it might be interesting, here's a link. So I click on the link, check out his YouTube channel. Classic pickup artist nonsense. How to flirt with a girl without being creepy. One weird Tinder line that actually works. One female attraction secret no one ever tells you blah, 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 blah. So I don't even click on any videos at the time because you know what you're gonna get with these pickup gurus. It's all pretty much the same. The guy's got 19,000 subs. She hasn't uploaded in over a year. I'm thinking, whatever, it's no big deal, and I click off. So a couple days goes by, and I'm on my phone casually browsing YouTube, watching a bunch of Pokemon fan edits Monday through Sunday. That's my viewing schedule right now. And I get served this pre-roll ad by the son of a bitch, Andrew Ryan. So I took a screenshot. I didn't screen record, and you're welcome. I wouldn't want to put you through that, but it's basically two minutes of this dude being like, there is one secret word that you can say that will make every girl in the world want a 69 with you in public. So I make the connection that it's it's the same guy from the YouTube channel I visited a couple days prior, probably a retargeted ad because I spent 10 seconds on his YouTube channel. And I'm like, this mother, this is some manipulative horse shit. So I do a little more investigating. And by that, I mean, I clicked his ad and got taken over to his sales funnel. And it was worse than I could have imagined. So I said, you know what? Let's get to know Andrew Ryan a little bit. What's he all about? And I started with his YouTube video number one, what to do when girls stop texting you back. Hey, it's Andrew. And this is what to do when a girl stops texting you back. Step one, don't freak out like every other guy. All the way up to current day Andrew, which has not seen his YouTube doing very well, clearly over the last year, but apparently he's still pumping tons of money into advertising and peddling this manipulative click funnel trash, preying on the insecurities of young men via pre-roll YouTube advertisements. But if I could defer momentarily to White Shirt Leon, for a message from today's video sponsor and longtime partner of the YouTube channel, ExpressVPN. So it's been over a year now that I've been partnered with ExpressVPN and I continue to get a safe and secure internet experience and I'm able to stream whatever I want, wherever I want from any device of my choosing. It's fast, it's intuitive, and they have servers in over 90 countries, which is a load. In addition to keeping my data safe, I like to hop on servers from outside the country just to see what shows I've been missing out on. Like on Netflix, for example, I'll pop on a UK server and I can watch Doctor Who, I can watch Fargo. So two clicks later, I'm connected to the server of my choice and I'm punching a one-way ticket to binge town. You can bring it with you too. They have apps for everything, iPhone, Android, desktop, laptop. You can install it on your router if you want to protect your home network, the list goes on. And it's less than seven bucks a month with a 30 day money back guarantee, so it's worth a shot. So if you wanna tighten up your ship and find out what shows you've been missing out on, find out how you can get three months free by using my link in the description box below. That's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for the continued support throughout the years and a huge thank you to you guys for also the continued support throughout all these years. I really appreciate you. January 31st, 2018, Andrew begins his journey into monetizing advice about how to crush multiple females and make them chase you. Step one, don't freak out like every other guy. Step two, have a beer. Life is good. Fellas, if she doesn't text you back, don't freak out and have yourself a cold one. Life is good. You smell that? <laughs> Smells like women lining up at the door. Step three, 
Text her something fun, simple, and easy to respond to that will spark her curiosity and get her to text you back. All right, I'm listening. For example, something like this. I'm so mad at you. Why? Because I just got out of the shower and you're not even outside my window peeking in. Jeez. I totally was. I'm just so good at it. You don't even know. I mean, this is text flirting 101. Borderline creepy, but playful. You know, very similar to the tactic I used to use. It's just a little bit backwards. In my case, I would always just show up to the girl's house and peek through the window till she was done in the shower and text her, hey, did you enjoy your shower? And she's all like, oh, WTF, how do you know I just showered? And I'm like, please, I'm outside your window peeking in right now. 100% success rate at getting a restraining order. Which, come to find out, is not how you get laid, but that's why we're here learning from Andrew. Step four, while you wait for her to respond, have another beer. <laughs> this guy. Uh, oh. Step five, if she texted you back, don't keep dicking around on text. Ask her when she's free and goes here. Step six, if she didn't text you back, that's okay. You've done everything that it's in your power to do. You cannot control what happens next. And here's the funny part. Now, you're gonna move on. You're gonna meet more girls. You're gonna have more fun. And I guarantee you this. As soon as you meet another girl that you really like, this girl who didn't text you back is gonna text you. It's somehow like this weird hot girl radar that they all have. Don't be shocked when that happens. Just leave a comment. Tell me I was right. See, this advice I like because if she doesn't text you back, it's not a problem. Just move on because she's eventually going to text you back no matter what. And when that happens, just leave a comment telling me he was right. This is, this is at least actionable advice. Unrelated, but I could really go for another beer. Don't forget step eight. You already know. <laughs> oh my God. Perfect timing. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh. God, it's been a while since college, but boy. All right, listen, that was his first video, and I'm just having some fun. You can't judge people based on their early content on YouTube, right? If you were to go back and look at old Leon Lush videos, especially some of the ones I had privated, way worse than Andrew's early attempts at, you know, at becoming a guru of some sort, uh, but it's jokes. So let's look forward a little bit and kind of touch on some of these other some of these other gems. What's up, guys? It's Andrew. I'm back here with Alberto. Alberto. And, and we're going to give you a technique right now that you can use in all your conversations and dates with women all right. to get sexual without being weird or creepy. That would be without ideal. Without being rejected. <laughs> it's pretty much rejection proof when you know how to do this right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't even. I gotta skip this one. Number one trick to turning her on without being creepy. It's <laughs> a 22 and a half minute video. What is there? Why does it take that long to explain it to us? Listen, guys, I'll save you the time. All you have to do is show up to her crib, okay, with the extended version trilogy of Lord of the Rings on Blu ray DVD. Try and catch her panties before they hit the ground. You can't. Fellas, if you've never pictured yourself clapping cheeks on a sofa while Frodo and Samwise Gamgee are making a heroic journey into Mordor to save Middle Earth, you don't even deserve a girl in the first place. How to make a girl chase you. Now, this YouTube video happens to share a name with the website slash click funnel slash product, I guess, he's trying to sell you. And though the YouTube video is two years old, he's still advertising this click funnel program course, PDF, whatever the fuck, to this day, which is the ad I got just a few days ago. If you struggle right now to get female attention, to get girls to text you back, to get a second date, to get a girl to really like you back the way you like her, then this video in the next five minutes is gonna change everything for you. Here's what you need to know. Fellas, did Pokimane not read your name out on stream when you gave her your highest donation to date? Stay tuned, because I'm going to teach you one secret seven-word phrase that you can say that will get her to quit her streaming career and move up into the mountains with you to live in a cabin and bear all of the children you can handle so you can live happily ever after in love together. Understand that your attention, what and who you choose to focus your time and attention on, mm. has a value. Absolutely. And you decide what that value is. So Agreed. So your attention was a dollar bill. <laughs> Let's just kind of skip through to get a feel for what we're, what he's going for here. Bar you're at, and they start twerking on the dance floor and bouncing their ass all over the table. <laughs> what? Do you stop doing what you're doing and give them your attention for no reason? Or do you keep talking to who you're with? I'll tell you what I mean. For example, Finally. 
You're walking down the street, you see a really pretty girl. Do you just stop what you're doing and stare at her and start drooling like every other guy? Giving your attention away like it's Dude, worth stop it. asking me questions. Just tell me how to make a girl chase me. You're you like three minutes in, we got nothing so far. Give her your attention when she gives it back to you. If a girl's talking to a bunch of guys aside from you, do you keep competing and trying really hard to win her over and game her and impress her? Absolutely not. Refer to my earlier point about the Lord of the Rings trilogy on Blu-ray DVD. You're like an exclusive club, okay? It's your world, Hell your yeah. life. And you only let people in when they pay to get in. You get a line outside, you get a, a line of people who want it, and you what, only dude? let them through that velvet rope when they pay. I think he's kind of setting the stage for pitching you the course, right? Can we give a shout out, please, to uh, Jane Doe here on the left? She's in multiple videos with him, and in what I've seen, hasn't said a single word, but she just sits there, listens to this man ramble about bullshit and try to send people over to his manipulative bullshit click funnel, would pay a lot of money to know what's going through her head as he's sitting there rambling nonstop. And this, if you think about it, this is how money works, okay? People don't just give money away. Is this dude still talking about attention? <laughs> oh my God, what an absolute tool. I swear to God, if he didn't let me pick him, I would have dropped his ass months ago. I mean, at least he's got a slightly above average peen, but God, it's just insufferable having to listen to him ramble all day long. Well, if you want to know how to make that happen, how to get women to start chasing you Please. and recognizing just how valuable you are, then like this video and subscribe and keep watching because I got a lot more where this comes from. There's a lot more videos coming out. We're putting them out every day. YouTube's promoting it all over the place. And you guys are my team. I need you to market this with me. So share, like this video, subscribe. I sat here for eight and a half minutes of you torturing this poor girl about attention in hundred dollar bills and some other bullshit. No one gives a shit about Andrew. And you're gonna blue ball me at the end of the video and hit me with a go to this link and subscribe and like because we're we're gonna be what the fuck are you talking about? Give me something to work with. Click funnel entrepreneurs are absolute aids, dude. Some of them are okay. Some of them are, you know, they're selling a reasonable product in the sales funnel, the whole thing. I know people make a lot of money doing it, but 99% of them are just complete bullshit using manipulative sales tactics and trying to get people sucked into their funnel that preys on their insecurities so they can lift money out of their pockets and deliver them really not a whole lot. So single guy guide at the time, I guess is what it was called. You click on the link in his bio. Unfortunately, we get a 404 error, which is an absolute tragedy, but somewhere along the line leading up until now, he must have changed it to how to make girls chase you.com. So here's the landing page you go to when you click on the ad that I was talking about in the beginning of this video, this ad that he's still paying money to promote as pre-rolls on YouTube videos. He's still clearly trying to promote uh, whatever this course is, the seven, seven scientific secrets that make girls chase you. Hopeless nerd discovers innocent words that make her think about you nonstop. Typical sleazy landing page to a sales funnel. Right off the bat, he asks you, what's your worst frustration? What's your worst pain point that I can help you solve? Do women never notice you? Do girls show interest but then ghost you? Getting told, let's just be friends? Do you never know what to say? Or all of several of the above? Hey, if you just give me your email, you can submit your answer and then I'll just relentlessly market bullshit to you moving forward. So God bless if you gave me an email that you care about at all. The type of newsletter you hit unsubscribe from and then you start getting twice as many emails in return. You know what I'm talking about. Now, of course, these landing pages, they always have the embedded videos that take away the ability to scrub forward. You don't know how long they are. You just hit play. There is one five word. Can't even go full screen if I wanted to her to sleep with you, become your girlfriend, or see you as anything more than just a friend. Now anticipating that his sales pitch video would be egregiously long, filled with a bunch of bullshit, absolutely no substance, I screen recorded and watched the entire thing and I, I was right. It's, it's honestly, it's about 30, over 30 minutes long. I don't know how the fuck he filled up 30 minutes of him just yammering on and on just doing everything to elicit an emotional reaction from insecure men who feel like they struggle getting girls and then he tries to slay you and kill you with like the hey i figured out how to do it all you have to do is this and right now you can get it for x percent off it, you know these tactics are old as you know they're older than jesus's tomb honestly but i'm just so fucking sick and tired of it the fact that people soliciting sleazy dog shit like this are still making money apparently why would he still be paying money to advertise this shit if kids weren't still paying him 
for his course. Like it just, <laughs> I don't know, man. But listen, I, I I recorded the whole screen cap. I watched the whole thing off camera and I'm just gonna kind of go through it quickly, touch on a few points to give you an idea on the type of sales tactics that still work today uh, on some, who I don't know who's buying stuff like this, but God bless, we need, to, we need it to stop. There is one five word question you should never ask a woman if you want her to sleep with you, become your girlfriend, or see you as anything more than just a friend. Do you know what the question is? I do not know what the question is, and having now watched the entire video, I'm not sure that you even answer it, to be quite honest. You just somehow fill up airtime with a bunch of fluff nonsense that's supposed to make men feel like they're not good enough unless they can crush every girl they lay their eyes on. I honestly thought she was different, but then the same old thing happened again, and I can't wait to see you turned into maybe next week, and suddenly I was the only one making an effort anymore. And I felt like a creep for texting her two or three times in a row and getting no response. So now he's in storytelling mode, all right? So if you ever like were to take a, a course on sales copy or you were to like read a book on how to create sales copy that sells, right? It's a huge industry. Obviously selling things online is massive business. This dude just kind of goes down the bullet point list of everything you're supposed to do. You know, ask leading questions, then you tell a story to create an impact. You try to tell stories that elicit emotional responses from people. And then you say things that try to exploit people's insecurities so they feel compelled that what you're offering them is going to help fill that insecurity for them, which in this case is the inability to land women. For the next six months, I went on a rampage that would have made Hugh Hefner jealous, perfecting my methods and sleeping with over 42 incredible women. Are you really flexing? I guess you could say I was making up for lost time. Are you really flexing? But even you're, better. Are you really flexing how many girls you slept with, dude? <laughs> oh, man. Bachelor Effect started working for other guys, too. See, at first I had no plans to share the secret with anyone else, but then I had lunch with my friend Chris, and he told me not. about a girl who suddenly stopped texting him back at Let me guess, and then it started working for Chris too, and then Chris told his friend, and it started working for his friend, and all of a sudden the secret seven word method that you used started working for all your friends. The next thing you know, you guys are running a harem of hot, fine girls, and you're all like Dan Bilzerian smashing 15 girls a day. And that's just a tiny taste of the game-changing techniques, truths about women, and incredible results you'll get almost just automatically a, on your way to becoming the most attractive and sexually confident tiny version taste. of yourself without ever being fake, people-pleasing, or pretending to be someone you're not. Seriously, what would Andrew know about being fake? He's the most authentic dude I've ever seen on the fucking internet. Clearly, he's shooting... Nothing but straight from the hip here. Real straightforward guy that cares about people and not manipulative sales tactics to make money selling bullshit. How much is it worth to be able to relax and be yourself around a woman without fear that she's gonna lose interest and swipe you out of existence Well, tomorrow? it's invaluable, Andrew. How much is it worth to wake up next to a beautiful girl <gasps> who what? likes you for you oh. every morning if you like? Who likes me for me? Well, Andrew, that's that's invaluable if you could teach me how to do that. Uh, you, I mean, you must be charging thousands of dollars for information this incredible. How much is it How worth is to me? You can't put a price tag on it. Just take my wallet. Take my money, Andrew. If I can learn how to find the woman of my dreams that will that will want to chase me, I've always been dejected and nobody ever likes me. So, so please take my money since you've shown me the light and will teach me how to be the fucking man of every woman's dreams. Shut the fuck up, Andrew, you manipulative cop! I want you to really think about that for a second. Really let yourself feel what it would be like and then ask yourself. Feel it. What I'm, do you I think feel would it. be a fair price to make girls chase you <sighs> anytime Boy. you want? At least a thousand. Hundreds? You can't be Thousands? charging less than a thousand Honestly, for this can information. Honestly, you even put a price on it? I don't if you're think being so. honest with yourself, I think you'd agree that $197 or more would be Wait totally fair to finally be no. chased and desired by the women you've no. always wanted. No. Hell, I bet you'd call it cheap to never have to feel rejected or ignored again. I would call that cheap. You're not going to give this away for $197? That's like a couple of coffee beans worth of money. You could not possibly be giving the holy grail away for 197 when we just discussed. You just made me believe that it was worth thousands of dollars. You wouldn't do that for me, Andrew. There's no way you like me that much to be that selfless, to give this fucking information away to me that is invaluable for someone like myself that struggled their whole life getting women for $197. You don't have the heart. People like you don't exist. No, go on. In your life. I mean, 197 bucks is a lot of money, but considering for this how this info. will change your life forever and finally get girls uncontrollably chasing oh my fucking you God, and I'm making gonna, a dead serious, almost desperate effort to be with you, <laughs> well, when you look at it that way, it seems pretty cheap, doesn't it? 
Yo, but yeah. listen, after spending 34 uh, years of my life cheap. as a nice guy, after dirt always cheap. being the one who gives and gives to others, I know it can sometimes feel impossible to- This is the type of dude, I'm telling you right now, this is the type of dude that loves to hear himself talk so much, loves himself so much, he just masturbates in the mirror while keeping direct eye contact with himself the whole time, all the way to climax. Even when you know it's a once in a lifetime deal that you'll never see again, which is why I'm gonna do something kinda risky here. Not a risk to you, but a risk to me. Here we go, baby, another sales copy tactic. Andrew has now assumed all of the risk in this transaction that you're about to make. It's not a risk to you. No, 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 I'm giving this, I'm giving this information away at an absolute steal. I'm assuming the risk here because I'm discounting it so much. It's insane that I would let go of something so valuable to you. He is blessing you now with letting go of this information for a reduced price. What an absolute piece of shit. Imagine if you could choose any girl you wanted and make her start chasing you. What would you do? Would you sleep with seven different girls a week? Or would you find that one special girl and make her your girlfriend? Maybe even a girl you're thinking about right now. Either way, I believe that choice should be yours. And if I have to take a hit to my wallet to help you get there, well, that's a price I'm extremely happy to pay. Andrew is willing to take a hit to his wallet. The selflessness to give up potential money to let us little fucking peons reach our full potential. What type of man? What type of man has this kind of compassion to do this for you and I? Modern day Jesus! We've already agreed that Make Girls Chase You is worth at least $197. Hold on a dollars. second. No, you're but not. Because you watched this video, no. you've given me some of your precious time. Well, yeah, it's been 25 and a half fucking minutes. I'd call that definitely precious time. I'm gonna ask you to invest $197. Stop it. You're not. I'm not even gonna ask you to pay $97. What? That's even half. I know you'll agree that would be a steal. Of course it is. You're out no, of your fucking for mind. You, and for now, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do, for as Andrew? As long as this page is up and not a moment longer, oh, it's been I'm up going for to a set while. your price for Make Girls Chase You at just one single payment of $77. And if you act right now, I'll take money out of my own pocket and give you a whopping 60% off. 60% off? What is that? Click the button below right now. You'll get the complete Make Girls Chase You program Shut for the severely the discounted up. price what of just 37 What the fuck? 37 Holy shit! Ah! 37 Fuck, I just hurt my hip so bad. Oh. Ah. Alright, I'll break a character here for a second. I just shattered my hip on the door handle. Oh. Oh. That's gonna be a contusion, I think. Fuck. <laughs> I just, I hate the fact that there's whole industries around celebrating this style of marketing. Sales funnels, click funnels. I get it, like it works, man. You, if you, if you have a good sales funnel, you could sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Shout out Tommy Boy for that one. But my God, if it is not the most manipulative, predatory bullshit, just attacking people's insecurities and trying to play mind games with them to manipulate them into thinking that they have to have what you're giving them in order to make themselves feel less sad and alone. It just seems so fucked up, yet we have these click funnels conferences where all these rich motherfuckers stand around in circles and give each other awards for creating the best click funnel that was able to convert the most amount of sad fucks to give them their money for some bullshit that may or may not be worth a goddamn dime. And in no way am I saying e-commerce is bad. There's a large gamut of how things are executed and how people are marketed to. I get the hustle. I have nothing against business and e-commerce, but some of these motherfuckers, these gurus, the way they're marketing their products, they seem so deplorable to me. And I hate the fact that it's like commonplace and normal for this to be like a celebrated way to get people to buy a product. Now, I know that most of you would see an ad from Andrew, laugh in his face, click off it and move on with your day. But there's always a portion of people that may be particularly self-conscious around this type of thing, struggling with relationships, or just having a bad day, and all of a sudden they find themselves down the rabbit hole of this click funnel and are close to pulling the trigger on it. And if this video stops even one person from pulling the trigger on some bullshit like this, whether it's Andrew or some other nonsense guru trying to lift money out of your pockets for some over-deliver, over-promise nonsense, uh, then I consider that a W. So if you'll excuse me, fair warning, I'm about to hip thrust that motherfucking like button, and I hope you'll do the same on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I do appreciate your time, and I appreciate all the support over the years. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.